Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back. How you doing, how you doing? All right, let's go ahead and review the previous class. Listen, please. Tell your partner. So how creative are you? Take the following quiz and find out. Add up your score, then find out what it means. Do you agree? Tell your partner. All right, let me have two volunteers. Uh, let me have Daisy and Elisa. Daisy and Elisa. Daisy, I want you to ask the question. And Elisa, I want you to respond to the question. Daisy, ask the question. Elisa, respond to the question. At this moment. Can somebody ask the question and somebody else respond to the question? Somebody. Anybody? One person ask the question and the other person respond to the question. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Hello, do you remember about relative pronouns? Who, which, that? Good for you, you still remember. Now we'll learn how to shorten relative clauses. Stay and learn how. Reduce relative clauses. You can shorten a relative clause by dropping the relative pronoun and the verb be. Someone who, that is, able to think quickly might be a good surgeon. A person who, that is, Looking for adventure could be a private detective. A person who, that is, training music might be a good DJ. You can also drop who or that and change the verb to the gerund. Someone who or that needs job security might not want to be a jazz musician. Someone needing job security might not want to be a jazz musician. In many relative clauses who or that has can be replaced by with a person who or that has a good voice could be a good tv journalist a person with a good voice could be a good tv journalist once a relative clause is reduced it becomes an adjective phrase it is bound within a noun phrase and defines and describes that noun phrase a person noun phrase Working as a surgeon, adjective phrase, needs to be creative and smart. These adjective phrases must come immediately after the noun they are describing. They are not separated by commas.
Complete these sentences using your own ideas. Share them in class and with us. All right, at this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to this activity? Questions in regards to this activity? All right, so we finished section 4.2. Uh, the first one was someone hop hoping to be a chef should get the proper training. Number two, anyone wanting to be an actor needs both talent and luck. Number three, a person working as a comedian is always looking for new ways to make people laugh. Number four, people clever enough to get inside the mind of a criminal would make good detectives. Number four, anyone dreaming of becoming a champion athlete has to be prepared to do a lot of hard work and someone responsible for a large staff has to be able to be creative with scheduling. Uh, does anybody have any questions in regards to this activity on section 4.2? Questions? Anybody? Questions, questions? No, teacher. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next exercise, which is going to be coming from exercise number 4.3. In this class, participants will discuss personal creativity and practice the lesson vocabulary. We're going to look at creativity quiz. Listen, please. Uh, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. One student read the question and the other student respond to the question. I'm going to share it with you on the group. Did everybody receive it in the WhatsApp group? Did you get the image on the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. Anybody? Nobody? Okay. Okay. Saul and Elizabeth. Saul and Elizabeth. Um, I would like for Elizabeth ask the questions and Saul responds and then vice versa. Saul will ask the question and Elizabeth responds. 
action. Uh, I'm going to, to ask or respond. Correct. Uh, you are going to ask and Elizabeth is going to respond. All the all the questions. Yes, please. Okay, the first one. Elizabeth, are you re let me see? Are you a risk taker? Hello. Elizabeth is here. Hello, Elizabeth. Can you hear me? Uh, someone else. Okay, someone else. Um, somebody else that wants to participate. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Excuse me. I off my phone. My mic. I or uh, sometimes. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to start again. The first one, are you a risk taker? Sometimes too. Okay. Are you naturally curious? Curious. Curious. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes. Okay, do you look for opportunities to improve things? Or ways? Okay. Are you sensitive to be beauty? Um, always. Uh, do you challenge challenge accept the ideas? Sometimes. Uh, do you keep an eye out for new fashion and product? Products. Rarely. Okay. Do you adapt easily to new situations? Um, force always. Okay, do you trust for guesses in the? I can see very well institution. Institu institu yeah, I don't know. Institution, intuition. 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 Okay, intuition. Intuition, intuition. Intuition. And an an insight. Mm, uh, sometimes. Okay. Are you more interested in the future than in the past? Always. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a creative sense of humor? Sense of humor. Of humor. Humor. Uh, sentido de humor. Sometimes. And now I ask. Yes, now vice versa. Change roles. Okay. Saul, are you a risk taker? Uh, always. Are you naturally curious? Uh, sometimes. Do you look for opportunities to important things? Fruit thing, always. Okay. Are you sensitive to beauty? Mm, sometimes. Do you challenge accept ideas? Sometimes. Do you keep an A out for new fashions and products? Uh, really? 
Do you adapt easily to new situations? It could be sometimes. Do you trust your guesses, intuitions, and insights? Mm, sometimes. Are you more interested in the future than the, in the past? Always. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a great sense of humor? Always. <laughs> great. <laughs> great. That's awesome. Yeah, it's always important, guys, to have a good sense of humor. You know, because if you're serious all the time, you're never going to be happy, right? It's always good to have a good sense of humor sometimes. All right, let me have, uh, go ahead, Saul, select another participant, and Elizabeth, select another okay, participant. I'm going to select Elmer Mauricio Salas. Elmer Mauricio, Elmer Mauricio Salas. Ask the question, Elmer Mauricio, ask the question. Okay, teacher. Eh, vamos a esperar. Who do you select? Saul selects Elmer Mauricio. Elizabeth, select, who do you select? I select Gloria. Gloria, excellent. Excellent. Gloria responds to the questions. Elmer asks the questions and Gloria respond to the questions. Hi Gloria, are you ready? Hello, hello, Gloria, can you hear me? Hello, hello, Gloria, are you there? Sorry, my my signal is poor. Okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, Elmer. Uh, we can hear Gloria, action. Okay. Okay, Gloria, are you a risk taker? Probably. Okay, um, are you naturally curious? Sometimes. Do you look for opportunities to improve things? Hi, Gloria. Uh, Gloria, your microphone is on silence. Hello, Gloria, can you hear me? Hello? Okay, she's back. Go ahead, continue, Elmer. Okay, uh, number three. Do you look to, for opportunities to improve things? Can you repeat, please? Do you look for opportunities to improve things? Mm, sometimes. Okay. Are you sensitive to beauty? Beauty. beauty. Beauty, beauty. Sometimes too. Okay. Do you change, accept ideas?
Okay, I think that she's having bad internet connection. Uh, we are going to go ahead and move forward because we have to continue and the time is moving. All right, guys, uh, I know everybody wants to participate, but we have to move on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next exercise, which is listening exercise. Uh, the instructions are listen to Samira, Alex, and Naomi talking about their occupations. What does each person do? I want you to listen to the audio and then you will answer the questions. Listen to the audio and then you will answer the questions. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, it is. Awesome, thank you. Listen to Samira, Alex, and Naomi talking about their occupations. What does each person do? One, Samira. Well, um, I guess I'd have to say that creativity is essential to my work. I'm an architect. And the creative part is looking at old things and trying to make them look new. What I mean is we recycle a lot of ideas and then adapt them to fit our needs. And of course, we have to stay on top of new trends. We have to know all about new building styles and efficient ways to use energy. You know, um, the kinds of things that homeowners worry about. No one wants a house that isn't heated or cooled efficiently or one that looks outdated. And we work long hours. But I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Two, Alex. Well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems, and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Who are they? Where are they? How can you get to them? You also need to think creatively about the competition. How can you make your business services more attractive than what the competition has to offer? Well, it's certainly challenging, and I think it requires a lot of creativity. Three, Naomi. I'm an interior designer, so what I do is go into people's homes and create a suitable environment for them. You know, my clients, they don't know what they want, so I have to look at their homes and help them decide what would look best. Not every idea works in every home. You have to match the appropriate idea with the right place. So after I come up with an idea, I present it to my client. 
Sometimes they don't like my first idea, and boy, that can be frustrating. You have to start all over again. So I need creativity to both come up with the ideas and to communicate them. Creativity also comes in handy when I want to convince a client that my idea is the best one. I don't always... Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Not yet. All right. Uh, one student can share the screen. One student can share the screen. In my case, teacher, I am a little busy right now working in the homework. Okay, gotcha. Again, I don't listen. I don't listen, Elmer. That looks outdated. And Thank we you. Now, okay. hours. now we have to the job's okay. pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Two, Alex. Well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems, and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Who are they? Where are they? How can you get to them? You also need to think creatively about the competition. How can you make your business services more attractive than what the competition has to offer? Well, it's certainly challenging, and I think it requires a lot of creativity. Three, Naomi. I'm an interior designer, so what I do is go into people's homes and create a suitable environment for them. You know, my clients, they don't know what they want. So I have to look at their homes and help them decide what would look best. Not every idea works in every home. You have to match the appropriate idea with the right place. So after I come up with an idea, I present it to my client. Sometimes they don't like my first idea. And boy, that can be frustrating. You have to start all over again. So I need creativity to both come up with the ideas and to communicate them. Creativity also comes in handy when I want to convince a client that my idea is the best one. I don't always succeed, but I do manage to get my way a lot of the time. Okay. Yeah. ¿Logró escuchar todo el audio, Elizabeth? No todo, pero la parte que nos interesaba, sí. Oh, okay, okay. Gracias. Y en Alex, no sé cuál es el problema que tengo, pero yo escucho que es small business. Mm, yeah. Yo escucho como own, como que es propietario de un small business. Mm. Pero, pero, ajá, dígame. Pero no me sale correcta aún poniéndole esa palabra. Oh. Oh. Mm. Sí, este, bueno, vamos a ver, a ver después. Tal vez uh -huh. algún otro compañero lo, lo tiene bueno. Ok. Eh, después en la segunda parte era de ir poniendo este, los, como las iniciales de, de, de cada uno de los que estaban conversando ahí. Uh -huh. y, y uno de stay on top of trends era Samira and answer the phones 
¿Escucharon quién, quién, quién era Answer the Phones? Alex. Sí, era Alex. Alex. Después está. Alex. Ajá. Warlong Hours. ¿Escucharon quién, quién lo.? Quién lo... Samira. Era Samira, ajá. Y después, help client decide what looks best. Naomi. Naomi, Naomi correcto. And think about the comp comp competition. Alex. Yes. Um, present ideas to clients. Naomi. Mm -hmm. Ahí estaríamos solamente esa que no sé cuál es el problema. La vemos en la clase. En el grupo. Sí, porque bueno, yo, yo escucho de small business, uh -huh. pero no sé. Sí, parece que él se dedica a vender de todo. Ajá. And we work long hours, but I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Two, Alex. Well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. But it's okay, small. Do you know small? Or what he says? Yes, but he says another word before. Oh my, oh my, small business. No one wants a house that isn't heated or cooled efficiently or one that looks outdated. And we work long hours. But I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. Two, Alex. Well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Bueno, vamos a ver, tal vez, tal vez algo otro compañero lo tiene bueno porque si yo, no sé, sí, ahí, porque... no sé. ¿Sí? Sí. Sí, sí, a saber ahí, tal vez, o el teacher tal vez nos dice. Ok. Bueno. Bueno. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. All right, all right. Let's look at the first one together. Let's listen to the first one together. Are you ready? Can you me hear? talking about their occupations? Can everybody what does hear? each person do? One, yes, Mira. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'd have to say that creativity is essential to my work. I'm an architect, and the creative part is looking at old things and trying to make them look new. What I mean is we recycle a lot of ideas and then adapt them to fit our needs. And of course, we have to stay on top of new trends. We have to know all about new building styles and efficient ways to use energy, you know, um, the kinds of things that homeowners worry about. No one wants a house that isn't heated or cooled efficiently, or one that looks outdated. And we work long hours. But I have to say, the job's pretty interesting. You never know what to expect next. 2. Alex Well, I run my own small business. I think all business owners, especially small business owners, have to be pretty creative. I mean, we have to do everything. I do the work, answer the phones, take care of the accounts, whatever. And you know, there are so many potential problems, and there's no one else to turn to. I mean, I can't just ask my boss for help. I am the boss. 
The hardest part is figuring out how to identify your customers. Who are they? Where are they? How can you get to them? You also need to think creatively about the competition. How can you make your business services more attractive than what the competition has to offer? Well, it's certainly challenging, and I think it requires a lot of creativity. 3. Naomi I'm an interior designer, so what I do is go into people's homes and create a suitable environment for them. You know, my clients, they don't know what they want, so I have to look at their homes and help them decide what would look best. Not every idea works in every home. You have to match the appropriate idea with the right place. So, after I come up with an idea, I present it to my client. Sometimes they don't like my first idea, and boy, that can be frustrating. You have to start all over again. So I need creativity to both come up with the ideas and to communicate them. Creativity also comes in handy when I want to convince a client that my idea is the best one. I don't always succeed, but I do manage to get my way a lot of the time. Who can give me the answer for number one? What is your answer for number one? Shamira. Architect. architect. Excellent. That is correct. She is an architect. And what does an architect need? What does an architect need? What does she say? Creativity. Are you creative? Do you feel you are a creative person? All right, who can give me the answer for Alex? Alex, number two. Alex, number two, what is your answer? somebody he's ha he has is not a business he's a business owner correct he has his own business very good what do you have for the next one number three naomi she is designer. She is a designer. Let's take a look. We're going to go ahead and take a look together. Samira, architect. Alex, small business owner. Naomi, interior designer. Excellent. All right, the next one. Uh, who can give me the answer for the first one? What is your answer for the first one? Who, who do you have? We have Samira, architect. Alex, small business owner. Naomi, interior designer. Which one do you have for number one? Number one, number one, part two is Samira. Very good. Samira, excellent. Stay on top of trends. Uh, number two, answer the phones. Alex is correct. Number three, work long hours. Work long hours. Number three. Samira. Samira. Number four, help clients 
decide what looks best. Number four, no. help Naomi is correct. Number five, think about the competition. Alex. Alex, correct. Number six, present ideas to clients. Naomi. Naomi, very good. Good job. All right, so the first one is Samira. Number two is Alex. Number three is Samira. Number four is Naomi. Number five is Alex. And number six is Naomi. Excellent work. Any questions in regards to this activity from section 4.5 listening? Any questions at this moment? Okay, let's continue with section 4.6, lesson objective. 4.6, lesson objective. In this class, participants will learn and practice using expressions related to problem solving. Exploring possibilities, 4.7. Exploring possibilities, 4.7. Listen, please. Listen, please. Can you solve problems? Can you find solutions? Nice. Now, let's learn the following vocabulary. Verbs. Analyze. Find. Organize. Explore. Make. Solve nouns, a mistake, a situation, alternatives, information, a problem, a solution, possibilities. Let's discuss some questions, then ask your partner. Don't forget to use the new vocabulary. When you make decisions, do you explore all the possibilities first? Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? When was the last time you analyzed a mistake you made? What did you learn from it? Let's analyze the vocabulary. So, Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Analyze. 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 Find. 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 Organize. 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 Explore. 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 Make. 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 Make solve 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 solve. All right. So these are the verbs. Now we're gonna look at the nouns. A mistake. A mistake. A, mistake. A problem. A problem. A problem. A situation. A situation. A solution. A solution. A solution. Alternatives. Alternatives. Possibilities. Possibilities. Information. Information. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to give me a sentence using these information. For example, you can say, uh, I analyze many problems at work. Okay, so you're gonna combine the verbs with the nouns to give me a sentence of oh, this problem. 
and you're going to write your examples at the bottom here in the discussion box. You're gonna put exploring possibilities and you're gonna come and write titulo, exploring possibilities. And here you're going to give me the examples. I analyze many problems at work. All right, you're gonna give me at least five examples, at least five examples, and then you're gonna send them to the discussion box. Do you understand? Do you understand? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, yes, sir. Okay, hello. sorry, I don't know what happened. I think I lost internet or something like that. And then when you finish, you're going to send it over here to the discussion box. You got it? Okay. We're going to work in pairs. One student can share the screen. One student can share the screen. Ready? Let's go. One student can share the screen. One student can share the screen. Oh. Can you solve problems? Can you find solutions? Nice. Can you solve the problem? Organize. Explore. Make so now. Mm. I think uh, I solved a problem uh, in my house for me and Sandra. In my case, in my case, I guess we have to find a solution, a problem. No, it's two nouns. Yes. Not so much blame.
Yes, I find a solution. Ahí va a escribir abajo. Ok. Can you repeat, please, Elisa? Mini cargador. Um, puede ser. I'm not sure. Tell me. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to find a solution. A, a C? A fine? No. O sea, no estoy seguro. No estoy segura. Uh, no. I want. To find a solution. I, uh, I, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Quieren mm -hmm. encontrar una solución. Algo así, creo que se tiene detrás. Estaría bien así, Elisa. I'm not sure, but I find a solution. Yes. Yo puse. I saw. A problem. Y es que la, la idea era, I'm not sure. Ok, I diga. want to find a solution. I want. Después de, después de, I want mm -hmm. to find a solution. Ok. Delay chico. Ajá, delay chico. Yes, I see, yes. Okay, I'm not sure I want to find a solution. Yes. Okay. Mm. Uh, otra creo yo que podría ser I explore many alternatives. Why? Um, I explore many alternatives. Alternative. Ah, yes. I could.
Y, y qué opina de I organize organize this information or that information. Mm. I organize the information. I organize the information. Mm -hmm. Necessary. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Qué se dice? Necessary. Yes. I organize the, the information necessary. Okay, okay. Mm. Necessary, necessary, necessary. Yes. It's okay? Yes. Amigos. Okay, y el, yo creo que el teacher ya no ya nos está llamando por ahí a la, a la sala principal. Yo creo que con Ay. esos. Sí, está bien, de Lembia. Ok, bye. Bye. All right, let me have one volunteer. I want to hear your examples. One volunteer, I want to hear your examples. One volunteer. Me, teacher. All right, Elmer, go ahead. Elmer, let me hear your examples. I explore many alternatives. I explore yeah. many alternatives. Very good. I explore many alternatives. Excellent. I solve a problem in my house. I solve a problem in my house. Very good. Only that, teacher. Okay, okay. Excellent. Very good. Let me have uh, one more volunteer. Hi, teacher. Yes. The number one, I analyze the economic situation. I 
solve the math exercise. I organize my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I make the I make the platform. Mm -hmm. I explore a new forest. I have problem with my internet. I have alternative to make the lunch, to take lunch. the lunch. To take lunch, okay. Yes. Perfect, perfect. All right, guys, very good. We're gonna stop right here. Please continue working on the platform and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.